Hi, Faith Levine from Graceful Fitness. We're gonna do a five minute cardio workout. No work on the hands, no work on the wrists, um, and no equipment necessary. I'm gonna use my timer, but no equipment necessary for you. You'll even see I have some like space modification options if you're in a really small space. So let's get going. The first one is just side to side. The way this workout is gonna go is that we have 45 seconds of work and 15 seconds of rest. After each 15 second increment of work, I'll give you an option to take it up a notch. So there's our first 15 seconds. Our second 15 seconds is a option to take it into a squat here. Hips back. Notice I'm going parallel here. So my knees and my toes are all facing front. Last 15 seconds, option to squat hop. So feel free to stick with the first or the second option especially if this is you know, your first movement of the day and you're not ready to jump. This whole workout could definitely be repeated twice. There's our first rest. Workout could definitely be repeated twice. And the first one, you could take the, the low impact, um, you know, gentler options. And the second one, second time through, maybe you're ready to jump it a bit more. Second exercise, you're gonna slap your foot behind you. Our arms will kind of change with the options, but at first, you're reaching across so that you take a little twist. Feel free, of course, to stick with this. Otherwise, you can go into like a donkey kick movement. You could definitely add your arms. You could have your hands on your hips. 45 seconds is not a small amount of time, but when we're doing these 15 second increments, it goes by kind of quick. Hop option for the last 15 seconds. My idea with these workouts is that you can fit them in your life. You can fit them in your energy level. You can repeat them three times if you need more. There will be several on my YouTube channel. You can make a 25 minute workout by putting five of them together. Our rest. Third exercise here, knee pull up in front. Point your toes, flex your ankles, your choice. A long spine here, top of the head goes towards the ceiling. Next option, take it to a kick. I'm gonna add a punch. Feel free to stay with the knees. With that kick, I like the flexed foot. Makes me feel nice and strong and powerful, gives me a little bit more stretch through the back of my leg. Last option, you can take it to a hop. Notice with the hop and the high kick, I am not as able to keep my spine long, but I am still thinking about that. Last one. All right, I would want to do much more than 15 seconds of this. And our third sequence here is side to side. So let's start hands on the hips and the side. Keep it slow for the first 15. It might be low. The higher you can go, the more you can tilt away from the foot, the more the sideways, the obliques will have to work. It's really the same thing as like side plank. Our second variation takes the cardio intensity up a bit, but takes, you know, some of the balance work out. And then for our third option, it puts them together. My hands came up because it helps me hold my balance a little bit better than hands on the hips. Four, three, two, one. Ooh, I got time for two more. Oh, sorry to fake you out there. Not intended. We have one more sequence. Hopefully your heart rate has come up. Your body's starting to warm up and feel a little bit more mobile, ready for the day. Last exercise, squat and rise, squat and rise. Notice for these squats, my legs are all the way together. Hips pull back. Arms going over the head here. You can go a little faster now. Arms going over the head is gonna help the heart rate come up. Bigger. We're in our second 15 seconds. Hips hinge, abdominals lift away from the thighs. As fast as you wanna go. Last 15 seconds of the workout. You can take it all the way into a jack. And 
not to lie to you, but to push through. In this last one, I'm gonna go all the way through 30 seconds of this jack, which means one more. Step side to side. I'm just like, all right, let's finish strong and push it out. A little side to side. Go back into nice and slow into that foot tap. So this is a dynamic quad and hip flexor stretch. With that twist, take your hands to your hips, your feet wide, parallel. Make some big circles through your hips. I love this one because it just really um, mobilizes the hips in many different directions. Not every single direction the hips are capable of, but lots of directions there. Last thing here, take your arms wide and hinge the hips, butt back, twist and lunge to one side, come up through center, switch. If your heart rate's really high still, make sure to keep the head above the heart. You might not come down as deep as me, you might think of reaching towards the inside of the knee. One more. That can be it. That can stand alone as your, you know, your movement for today. You can also definitely, like I said, stack this up three times in a row. You'll get more familiar with the movement. You'll decide how hard you want to push yourself in each round or stack it up against or stack it up with um, some of my other five minute cardio workouts. All right. Thanks.